ngat kun palanya be en ma ningat ngat pere kun mayali My name is Leslie Phillips. My name is Helena Walkup Yarno. My name is Dave Kalaminda. My name is Stella Derry. I am Joey Nanmira. My name is Lachlan Jungle McKenzie. My name is Atelia Ganaraj. My name is Daniel Curran. Leah Nyingol. My name is Hagan Najimere. My skin name is Ngalngarich. My skin name is Alganila. My skin group is Nawamud. My skin name is Nawagai. Um, my skin name is Ngalngarich. My skin name is Albangadi. My skin name is Nawagaj. My skin name is Nangari. I love living in Kumblanya because I grew up here. I love the footy and the scenery, as you can see behind me. I like living at Kumblanya because this town is where I was born, and I like to work with other family, the clans of the this community, and you know, just building a good relationship and knowing each other. And it's a good thing to do that. I like living in Gurbalanya because this is where I born. It's a nice, beautiful country. My dad brought me over out here and also my grandmother, also my grandfather. And he shows me many things. And he shows me what's the better things when you get up in the morning. I smell flowers. I smell leaf. I smell wind, everything in my life life. I like hanging around with friends and family. Sometimes people go fishing, hunting, and telling people a story. Good things about living in Gumblanya um, is the wet season, dry season lifestyle. Um, locked in the wet, a whole lot of fishing, and then dry season, the mobility to go around and, and look at country. Because the country and place of belonging, I know where I come from and the connection to country. And also, I love um, sharing country and culture with the outside world. What I want to change in Wundalanya is to have more programs for the community. Engagement in education. Um, we've got some kids and families that are super engaged in education. Education is obviously uh, key to the future of our, our kids and our, our uh, community. Um, but we need more, more involvement at school, we need more kids coming to school um, and engaging in education to get those skills that we, they need to, to work in both the Ballander side and also the Binning side. Just getting more kids to school. Uniting, uniting both cultures together, you know, establish it for the long term for our, this generation now, establish it for the future, make it strong, make it a healthy future too. You know, family's perspective on education and attendance. Um, my job as the remote school attendance coordinator is to bring in more kids to school. Um, so if we can change family's perspective on, on just how important attending school is and just how important missing one or two days a week is, um, if we can change that then a lot of our young people will have a better education and um, better steps in life. Better education for the kids, um, better health services, Closing the gap mainly, yeah, the main problem, I guess that's for every community, and, you know, closing the gap is the same, or main thing, and it's, I don't think it's not even, it's talked about it, but not being done at all. My role is, at Gunbalanya is like to work to art centre, take them up to the hill, on these tourist backpackers, and um, do paintings out there. Up. and um, sometimes I might go to the exhibition and all those sort of things, yeah. Thousands of them, tourists coming in on this year. My role is uh, to run the Learning on Country program, so I work with um, a couple of the short owners, Liz, Alfred and Leah Nyingel, um, and we take classes out on country where they get to learn about um, culture and the work that the rangers do, how to care for country. And then we go back to the classroom and work with their teachers to tie all that knowledge back to the regular curriculum. Working at the community school, I work as assistant teachers and out in the communities, working in the church, helping. It's helping in a way of having that um, the well-being. I'm a teacher, registered teacher, and I'm 
go in their classrooms and help teach the um, curriculum. And also for Learning and Country, as I started the Learning and Country in Manangarita School, we established that um, program, specialised program, so, you know, um, family wanted me to come back and make a solid, solid learning as well. So, that's the teacher. Is the Remote School Attendance Strategy Coordinator. Uh, it's a federally funded program by the Commonwealth and my role is to coordinate a local team of 10 uh, and we support the school and the families to engage better into school. Uh, main priorities is attendance, getting young people to school and to home um, and also letting families be aware of just how important um, obviously students' education is but them attending school full time. I work as an assistant teacher at the school. Um, assistant teacher is an Aboriginal person from the community helping out the senior teachers and helping them understand our culture and also helping our students understand and translate English and so they can, yeah, get their work done. I finish year 12, I want to become a ranger. I want to go study and become a teacher at the school. I want to be working with Dan on Indian country, teaching all the little kids. Finish school, I'd like to work at the shop. Growing up at Gumblanya, getting to know the traditional owners of this land, it was really a good, um, in a way of building relationship and knowing the people of their place and just working together and building good relationship of respecting them. As soon as when I was little, my grandson used to take me out into the bush. That was in my days and my grandfather's day. And also he used to be teach me like good things, not the bad things, but better way. He taught me how to sing, I sing rain, also I sing agarabara. That's what he told me as soon as when I grow up. The toughest challenge I remember as a, as a young person, um, you know, being a young Aboriginal boy, uh, having an Aboriginal father and a non-Indigenous mother, um, growing up in two worlds in an urban society and having the expectations and the odds all stacked against you. Other people not believing in me, that I was, you know, if I was capable enough to do it. Um, that given me fuel. Um, the negativity that I've got from others giving me the opportunity to really make myself strong. My biggest achievement is 100% attendance at school. My biggest achievement was to travel from Darwin to Queensland, Melbourne, travel to New Zealand and not a lot of people from here get to experience what I've experienced and to school in Victoria, Geelong College and to play in one of the biggest schools in Australia for footy. The Learning and Country <laughs> because it was a three year program and I thought I was never going to get there with it. Um, the outcomes with Learning and Country um, I'm very proud of it and where it's going to now. I went to in Sydney and I make my family proud, also my father and my mother. I went out there for exhibition. Then I came back to tell my kids stories when I've been in Sydney. My view on the RSAS program is that it's great, um, especially this year or since Lockie and his team have started. They've done an amazing job. They're super, like, super engaged with the school and also the community. Um, they're getting the kids into school, making sure they're having fun, organising things like this, like hip hop and uh, out of school activities. Um, yeah, I think it's amazing. We need them that help deal with issues outside and coming into school. We need someone at the gate meeting, meeting the children, the family to come in and, you know, the support we need, we need backup, um, we need that support and if we walk hand in hand it, you become a better better community and um, it helps the children and the family. 
message for kids in both ways. We like to learn education and also our culture. We gotta stop the violence, stop the breaking, stop the fight. We gotta to work together, you know, reach for your dream, try your best and reach for the stars. You must come to school every day so you must can learn this education that will help you understand and live the way that you should be knowing and be part of it, not to be um, afraid of. Don't get caught up in too much of what's ahead. Take every day as it comes. Don't rush it, you know. Better to make a decision on the day than make a decision for the next six days ahead. Just keep pushing along and, and stay nice and steady. Keep coming to school and think about how they're going to live in the, both worlds. So the Bullender side and Binning side. Keep your culture strong, keep your education strong and uh, you'll go into strong people. Teach them into culture, into this land. To think, to see, talk in their heart. When they get stronger, the stronger is in your heart. Iruk Brengegi Gonta is in your heart. When you grow up, be a man. Show your next future, next future to the next future, to the next generation, to the next generation. Be strong, please.